What's good. your favorite juice? Grape. You're black as fuck. Orange. Real <laughs> white as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Sergio Talks Podcast. Your boy Sergio's Talks. Your boy Matt. It's your boy Carl. And uh, welcome back to another episode of the Sergio Talks Podcast. I I started off with that, didn't I? I think you did. I, I did, right? Bro, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to give us five stars on Amazon, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon. Patreon. So if you guys don't know, on Patreon, you guys get an exclusive episode every single Friday. So you get two episodes a week when the YouTube people only get one. So summertime is here. Yeah. And I think there's no better way to celebrate summertime but to bless up the people's playlist with some summer bang. <laughs> that was like kind of personal. <laughs> YouTube people. The, the YouTube people go on. So the whole premise of this episode is we're going to prepare people on how to get ready for summertime for both people that are single and for those of you that are in a relationship. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we do single, you do relationship. Yeah, because you guys are in your hot boy summer. Yeah. And I am a retired veteran. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm off the streets. I'm off the market. Correction, I'm happily off the street. <laughs> <I'm happily laughs> off the market. <laughs> he doesn't have problems. He doesn't want problems. No, no, no. no uh, problems at all. Before we get into all that stuff, what are the things that you guys are looking forward to the most this summer? Um, beaches, bro. Well, yeah, beaches, hot, um, festival, having fun. Festivals, bro. You know, yes. going out. Like, I wouldn't say, when I say going out, both of us don't mean like going out to get completely destroyed with alcohol every single night. That's not what I mean. It's more like just, you know, vibing. It's actually saying, not saying no to plans. Yeah, exactly. Any plan, we're there. You know what I'm saying? We're able to be there, basically. Every cookout, every, everything, man, we'll be there. You know, chilling and um, obviously having fun. Hmm. Bro, like me, I'm a ball player. I like playing basketball outside also, like play with teams. Just, you know, like everything seems more simple during summer. Right. Even for my job, looks more simple. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like for him, he could do gym content. Yeah, outside. but there's not that much people that go to the gym during summer. It's mostly during winter because we're out, everyone's outside during summer. True. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's outside drinking, eating. Mm. And then they come back during winter and they're like, oh, shit. Yeah, time, yeah. Time to work for... Next summer. Next summer, you basically built your body during winter for summer. Exactly. Yeah. So what would you guys suggest to the fellas that are single or to the ladies that are single as to the activities or outings that they should be looking forward to doing this summer? As like alone or as like a, a like a date attire type of thing? To, to see on before, this one. The floor is yours. On this one, I got to agree with Matt. Ice cream and walk is not that bad of an idea. Wow. Finally, no, man. The weather's nice outside. Everything's fine. Just, hey, do you want to go grab some ice cream? And we'll just walk and talk. Simple. Doesn't cost you a Without lot. Without the thought so. of it's it's cheap. You know what I'm saying? It's cheap. <laughs> it's cheap, man. As a first date, you go there. Second date, you go on a more, more expensive one. Mm. But uh, to suggest, well, so you said that, to go on dates. I would say most definitely more outdoor dates. Outdoor dates, yeah. But it depends on the girl, though. Like, I'll give you an example. I went on a date, and it was like a... Um, and I'm going to get bashed for some comments on this, but like, you know, trees on trees, the, the thing? You oh, yeah, that? when you like zipline yeah. stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, zipline trees yeah, to yeah. trees to trees, whatever. Yeah, that was yeah. an activity. But That's like nice. for some girls, That's sick. Yeah, but for some girls, it's like, I'm not going in the woods. You get what I mean? So yep. like, they're not going to do the zipline thing. As a date, too, you're not able to talk that much, I guess? Well, actually, yeah. Because, like, it's, like, uh, it, it's even more because there's um high, uh, like, intensity. Yeah. So, basically, you'll go up of, like, the, the tree. tree yeah. And then you guys are, and then she's going to hold you. And she's going to be like, I'm scared. Ah, and then you do, ah. And when you get to the other tree, it's like, oh, my God. Ah, ah, and then you guys, like. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. And, like, it's, it kind of brings you, like, close to the other person in some type of way. Yeah. Um, which I think it's nice. Like, it was an awesome date, in my opinion. So, yeah, that would be... So, how about we rate date ideas 1 through 10 Okay. for summer activities? Okay. Right? Yeah. Uh, but your thing has an actual name to it. Isn't it, like, uh, called, like, Arabesque or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That's uh, that's that. Huh? That's that's how you call the place, but not the activity name. That's the place is yeah. That's the place, not the name of the activity. Gotcha. Okay, so zip lining activity. Yes. One on ten. What are you guys giving it? Seven. Yeah, seven. Seven point five. Seven point five. Oh, do you know those little boats? When you're on the paddle, the paddle paddle board, yeah, paddle thingy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd say seven too. Yeah. Because again, <laughs> like it's a, not for everyone. Facts. Yeah. Like, okay, like you'll go, you'll have fun because you know you can talk and yeah. whatever. But if the girl's like. Yeah, but at that point, if you're choosing this girl because you got to know her a bit by, by text. But sometimes so like you no. can't you yeah, can't know yeah. what, what's Okay, so the verdict is six out of ten. I'd say six. Yeah, six. 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 Mosquitoes okay. for me, sorry. Don't worry, I'm going to round up the scores on the screen so that that <laughs> will okay. be tracked. Um, ice cream and walking. 10 out of 10. I'd, I'd give it an 8. I'd give it, I'd give it an, I'd give it a 7 and a half. That's crazy. 10 out of 10. Yeah. 7 and a half. 10 out of 10. My go-to perfect shit. Oh, yeah. I, there's no date during summer that I'd rather do <clears> than this one. I, I already know that I'm not going to like you for this answer, but what's your favorite ice cream flavor, Matt? Vanilla. I respect it. I, I Bro, you go you go to a place like Baskin Robbins where they're known to have thirty two flavors, and you walk to the up to the counter and you say, "Can I have vanilla, please?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, First of all, <laughs> what's yours? Uh, I like anything that's like like dulce de leche. Oh, like okay. anything that has like a little bit he's of caramel. Well, well, he's always fancy. He's dulce de leche. Is it just a fancy thing or like a, actually a taste? I feel like it's, it's more. A, no, it's actually a taste. Bro. No, no, yes, it I is. feel I no. Matt, I'm telling you right now, dulce de leche is an actual flavor. I mm -hmm. no. All I'm saying is like it's a fancy taste. What do you no, want me to say? You want me to say caramel? Not the same thing. <laughs> dulce de leche and caramel <laughs> is two different things. <laughs> okay, well, well, first of all, when I go to the ice cream shop, I don't order. Can I have like one, what's the name? Un boule de, de creme glacée. One, one, a, one like a scoop? One scoop of vanilla ice cream. You think I'm that you like, you, like uh, you do, you do wait, vanilla and sprinkles. Like, wait, wait, wait. He, <laughs> likes, he likes hard, hard ice cream or the soft one? Soft serve or? First of all, I'll take Blizzard. Like the, because U.S. people don't—they don't have Blizzards. They have a what's the name? They have Dairy Queen. No, oh, yeah. yeah, but it's well, not called the Blizzard. It's Frosties. yeah, Frosty's from Wendy's. But whatever, man. Listen, it's not <laughs> Blizzard, bro. <laughs> okay, so you ask for vanilla. Is it gonna have a scoop of vanilla ice cream? No, I don't ask that. You put the sprinkles? No, I, I like ask like. Matt, what is your flavored ice cream, bro? Uh, um, uh, well, okay, okay, fine. It's cookie dough. It's already better than vanilla. It is actually better. Yeah. Cookie dough is my, my go to. But I still hate you because mm. your first answer was vanilla. Because vanilla is way better than anything else. It's like you can't go wrong with vanilla. What is wrong with you? But it's vanilla. But every ice cream has vanilla in it. Why would you go out and take just plain vanilla? Because if you don't have a choice, would you take, like, would you take uh, mint? Like mint ice cream? No, because I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> what about pistachio thing? My, again, <laughs> I'm not a psychopath. Pistachio See, so let's if, say and if any girl orders pistachio ice cream, I'm drop. I'm I'm sorry, I can't. I have to drop you, pistachio ice cream. <laughs> that is kind of weird. Pistachio ice cream. So I, I I went on a date and I I had three choices: mint, pistachio, or vanilla. Take vanilla at that point. No, she chose mint. See, that's a red flag. No, it is a red flag. I know, but I told her. It was such a red flag that I told her that's a red you, flag. So you dropped her? Wow. Or I, did you drop kicker? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just, I, I told her. I said, that's crazy. That's actually a red flag if I'm being honest. What do you mean? A this is the percent. best. I'm like, a thousand percent. Did you taste it? Flag. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm good mentally to not taste mint. <laughs> What's your favorite flavor? Hmm. It's strawberry. You're weird. Bro. You're fucked. You're hell? really weird. Strawberry is amazing. Anything strawberry just, is at nice. that point, just ask for a sorbet. No, strawberry ice cream is fucking delicious. Can we, okay, have you ever had it? Okay, what's the best ice cream ever? What is the the best? Strawberry, Oreo, Smarties, cookie dough. Okay, Oreo is pretty good. I agree yeah. for the three he said. You can't go wrong with. Any I don't like Smarties. No, uh, no, no. It's what's your favorite weird. flavor in Smarties? What do you mean favorite, favorite flavor? Favorite. Yeah. <laughs> like the colors. It's the same flavor. You're, you're, <laughs> you're fucking with me. <laughs> no, Smarties. Sm Wait. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess you think like blue tastes something else than yeah, the blue one? Yeah. So what which is, one do you guys What does prefer? it taste? Blue tastes uh, like blueberry? Stop. Don't stop asking questions. Did you fall on your head? <laughs> Did you? No. 
what's your favorite color? Matt, shut your mouth. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> favorite color? What's your favorite color? Matt, like the, like co- the coating color. has different colors. The inside is, is is milk chocolate. It all tastes like milk chocolate. Exactly. So so like the the top of it, like which one you go? Like when you see the Smarties, is there like one that you like? The yellow one is like better than like the red one. Like the brown one. It's obviously. the same shit. The, the brown one is obviously the worst one. What? Matt, look me in my eyes. <laughs> Look me in my eyes. Take off your glasses. <laughs> Look me in my eyes. Tell me you're serious right now. <laughs> what, bro? So, listen. Obviously, the red one is way better than the brown one, right? What? Bro, it's the same shit. Can yeah. I have an answer? Which one? Wh- what do you guys prefer? The blue one. Bl- there you go. I'm Thank scared. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, bro, okay. What about same- Skittles? What about Skittles? Skittles. Skittles, they're different. Yeah. Skittles, which but which one? Are we talking like the berry fl- uh, fruit one? Are we talking about the tropical one? Are we talking like no, the, 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 the basic, normal, one? normal one? The red one? Which co- which color? Green or orange? Green or orange? Green. Yeah. G- just green is a red flag. Orange green is amazing. Orange. Also. What's yours? Uh, purple. What? Wow. This is a wow. red flag. See, this is weird as This fuck. is weird. No see, one touches okay. see, the, the purple one. It's yeah. at the end of the bag. I skipped the purple Excuse one. Excuse me. Oh, what? Producers mad because of purple one. Purple's the best. What the hell? Well, I know. I, wait, hold on. I know damn well I'm not taking any notes about the best Skittles from a guy that likes vanilla ice cream and strawberry ice cream. What the fuck? Did they shop on this? No, no, no. <laughs> What's your favorite Mr. Freeze? The white one. Okay. Blue. You can't hate on blue. Red. <laughs> <laughs> Red? Yeah. At this point, just go drink a Gatorade, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro. You said blue. Blue's, Blue's the fire. Nice. Blue tastes the same as the blue Gatorade. What? what? Exactly. Yeah. Shut the f- uh, <laughs> But still. Why don't you, you, you take the purple Mr. Freeze now? Huh? Tastes the same fucking dog shit thing. No, because purple Mr. Freeze is dog shit compared to purple Skittles. Purple Skittle is horrible. Purple Skittles is actually weird. It's cr- it's actually crazy. What's your favorite grape? It's bag? actually you know what you know how crazy it is. It's actually more crazy than me liking vanilla ice cream. Yes. Cap. <laughs> no, 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 I, yeah, I have to agree. Cap. I have to agree. What's your favorite juice? Grape. You're black as fuck. Orange. Real white as fuck. <laughs> What's yours? Does iced tea count? No. No. Kind no. Of. no. Uh, lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. Okay, now strawberry is nice. Yeah, now now it's nice. Hmm. Sounds crazy to me, huh? Okay, what's your favorite alcohol? What are the best dates for people to go on this <laughs> summer? Is what I want to know. <laughs> oh, okay. I have one. Picnic. Picnic Good. is fire. Picnic Are is we nice. talking picnic, picnic, or picnic but wait. electronic? Yeah, my. There's times where you could shut the fuck up. I, I, it's for Montreal people. It's when, not. It's for everybody people. Okay, but I mm-hmm. know because going to picnic in Montreal means like you're you're getting wasted, you know. With a good bag of... You understood what I said? Yes. Okay. Yeah, picnic, picnic, fire. Yes. But I don't know if I would do that for a first date though. Why? You don't uh, want to be sat down? I feel like it's a vibe. It's cute. It's my cute. I don't Especially know how I feel about it. Well, if like the, to get to know someone to do a picnic. Yeah. I mean, the girl has to be very romantic because it is a very romantic thing. But you also, you have yeah. to be the one to like have prepared everything, you know? That's the whole point of why. But you don't know like her it. yet. You don't know like what exactly she could like or not like or what she's allergic to or not allergic to. If you try to make sandwiches or something or a salad. So what? what Imagine you put nuts in a salad. You, you, she well, eats a salad and she, you, you, n- next thing you know, you're going to that. You ask before. What'd you say? What'd you say? Dies. Ties? Dies. Dies. Yes. Like you put nuts in the salad and she dies. Like you don't have any pen and then. Are you okay? <laughs> no, but like. Well, she's, you said she's allergic. Yeah. Yeah. No one spoke about death. No one spoke about death. But what happens when, when someone eats like nuts? So Carl, what do you rate a picnic on 10? <laughs> um, I'd say 7.5. Cause regardless, I'm gonna ask you, are you allergic to anything? I feel like it's I'm a little bit risky, like seven. Okay. I would say seven too. Hmm? What about a good old fashioned restaurant? Tell us, Sergio. What oh, is, oh, what, no. uh, 
Tell us, what's your goal? If it's summertime, I would avoid maybe going for like a restaurant restaurant and more so looking for like a terrace. Exactly. You know? Okay. That to me, like terrace, because you could have food and you could drink and have sangria if ever like you guys are having a really good vibe. And that to me is like top tier. Sun- I'd, I'd give like a like a like nine, nine and a half. Mm, I'd give it nine. Nine two for Taras. Yeah. Because like the sun, everything, the little music, especially like if there's an event outside. Mm-hmm. Mm, downtown Montreal. Crazy. What about going to like some sort of like a festival type of thing? Like let's meet up there. There's like an event of like there's music outside performing, blah 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 blah. You guys just walk around. I think that's fire. I don't know. Like a music festival? Yeah, type of thing. You know when you walk on in Montreal, there's a street, like there's a bunch of festivals. Okay, you can yeah. walk the whole street thing. I was yeah. thinking like festival as like uh, metro, metro metro or something no, like that. No, 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 Okay, like, festival like there's a bunch like, of bands. Or whatever. Yeah, you don't have to pay for the tickets. Like, okay, you just oh. get in and then. But I feel like something going like to like 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 a festival like Metro Metro or something would be fire. I don't think so. As like a first date? As yeah, no, no, really, no, no. As a first date, it's like you you want to enjoy the it's artist you you paid for. First of all, the tickets are super expensive. You're gonna pay for a ticket. Also, and you're not gonna enjoy. It. You're gonna talk to her the whole time. Yeah. And if you don't talk to her and you enjoy just like the shows, like you guys are not talking. Mm. Yeah, but you guys could always meet up like before. Okay, yeah, finish your night. Uh, maybe we, there I can get it. Yeah, but I wouldn't take it as a first date. I would okay, say so, six. So music festivals. What are we giving it? So if music we say festival. metro metro, I would say six. Mm-hmm. But if we said the one that I I'm saying, Down I would say like seven point eight. I give it a, what seven point eight. Yeah. It's like not enough to be like eight, but not seven point five, which is average. Seven point eight. Okay, I was gonna give it an eight. Eight. Okay. Yeah. What about you? I'd give like a music festival, like like a like a seven and a half, okay. and the other one too, like a seven and a half. Fair enough. What would be like date activities to avoid? To avoid. Yeah. Avoid museums. <laughs> eh. The, uh... Museums are are actually it's it's a vibe. They they are, but it's summertime. Okay, we you could do museums school. like when during it's fall the, or yeah, when yeah, or during yeah, the winter. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. You know, like like if if you're if like if it's a, if it's a nice beautiful day and you say that to ask a girl like, hey, like can I take you out? Like you know, I'm down to go check out this museum. It's gonna be like, uh, yeah. you know, I much rather go like for like for like dinner on a terrace or like go yeah. for drinks instead. Mm. A museum. That's kind of, yeah. Thinking yeah. like that is kind of weird. But it's true because during like winter when it's cold and you say museum, it's like thinking, okay, I'm inside it's, it's gonna be like yeah. warm or whatever she, yeah yeah but like if you say let's go for a walk in ice cream during winter she might be like no, no one does that except cold. for you bro. <laughs> huh? no one does that except for you you might be surprised i would be surprised I if there's really anybody else except you so what so museums so during the summer i give it like a four I give it a three, three. bro it's like going to the movies <laughs> one. Oh, but hold on but like the the the, the cine parks Okay. Yeah. That is fire in this summer. Is nice. So outside I mean, movies. Outside goes, movies. Uh, you, you know Cine Park is just a fuck. What? Yes. I, There's literally huh? children around. Mm. Mm. I've never fucked there, so I can't... Everyone goes there to fuck. No, just you, bro. I never went. Then go, and then you'll see that you can't really fuck. Yes, you can. You if can't. you're planning on getting arrested, no problem. Every time someone spoke to me about... About uh, Cine Park. They didn't watch the movie. They yeah, just... they probably went like the yeah, last exactly. movie, the French version, and sat all the way uh, in the back. Yeah. But, like, I'm talking, we're talking about like a first date idea. Like, yeah. it's cute. You go to the Cine Park, you roll up, you guys watch a movie together from from the, the comfort of your own car, eat some good food, mm. get time to talk. It's a little bit more intimate because only you two. Mm. Mm. And you guys get to talk about the movie. And then you fuck. No. I'd give it like a, I'd give it like a, like a seven and a half, eight. Seven. Seven, two. If you end up fucking, how much is it for you? If I mean, if I get head or fuck, head, ten. That's crazy. And if you fuck, eight. What? <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, but movies, 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 ah. movies. That's a that's a what? That's, that's a two, bro. Yeah, it's not even mid tier. Two. two. I don't even watch movies during summer. It's like I'm wasting time when it's beautiful outside. Yeah, yeah. I'd go a watch movie. a movie like if it's like a banger movie, I'd go watch it with the boys. Well, yeah, obviously, but not not for a rating. date. Yeah, yeah. It has to be a whole. Yeah. Um, talk. What about amusement parks? Oh like yes, roller coasters. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. It will That's be. Dope. I would say probably a zero. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, or probably minus 10. Oh, why? Yeah, you piece of dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you still have the video? Yes, I do. Can I roll it? Oh, uh, 100%. Story time. 100%. Uh, me, me and Carl just met, told Carl a thousand times that I have uh, motion sickness. <laughs> right? This man says, oh, should be something like, you know, it's light, it's whatever. Yeah. So we go for roller coasters. And I just wanted to be there with them, but I will not do the roller coasters, right? <laughs> and then Carl gets to a point with some other guys. They just headlock me. And they're like, yo, stop being a bitch, bro. Just Impression. come on. Like, it's not that deep. Like, come on. And headlock and then put some strength into it. And then there's like four guys. They're like, you're coming with us, bro. I'm like, uh, uh, okay, fine. I'll fucking come because whatever. And yeah. I I was in a CVR. What's what's the CVR called? Oh my god! The, the, the thing, the hospital thing. Mm, the little ambulance came yeah, in. Yeah, little ambulance. And you had a little like a little the thingy on top of you. You were like, uh, uh, basically, you had an anxiety attack. Oh bro. no! I just no. died, bro. I was I was next to him. He was like, <laughs> it was. I was crazy. about to You can die, bro. And yeah. you know what he said at the end? He says, "Oh." So you really have motion sickness. <laughs> wow. Yo, I clipped everything from A to Z when he's inside. And like when at first he's like this, and then the ambulance comes in, and then he's like on the little CVR, and then he's inside like this, he's dying. But what bro. what what like what what what's hap like what happens? Like, what's I, the feeling like? Bro, I have two it's like Okay, you know when you're super, super heavily drunk mm -hmm. and it feels like your your brain goes upside down? Well, do do two things like this and that's how you feel. It's like you're drunk and you drank two bottles of tequila. So everything is just spinning. Everything is spinning. Like, like nonstop. I'll see you and you're going to do like this. Like everything is bad. Every, my whole body is like I don't feel it. I don't know my arm is on the right side and I just go. It's horrible feeling. Bro. Thing I'd rather be drunk, like dead drunk, like Cuba drunk then have this motion sickness. I absolutely hate it. Thing is, we also took the worst uh, roller coaster. Oh, yeah, this one was fucked up. It was Which basically, one was it? You, you're going, the, you're going like boat? this. You're going like this, no. but where you're sitting, you're also spinning. Oh, yeah, the money So, like, too. we're spinning, but, like, we're going, and then we're, like, like that. And then we're going back like this. You know, it was just super high. And you know, like, I could spit and then catch it. Anyways, whatever. You know, you know what's even worse? They usually do it for a minute, a minute 30, right? And oh. now since it was a bunch of influencers and whatsoever, and like everyone's filming it and blah, blah, blah for content creation, the girl says, oh, you guys are a bunch of friends, all your, your, your 40 people, blah, blah, blah. Do you guys want to go for four minutes? I'm like, no, no. There's a couple of people say no. Most guys say yeah, fuck yes. I was yes. screaming yes. Oh, my God. Imagine. That was crazy. This is not supposed to happen and it just happens. Peer so roller coasters is a top zero. Don't fucking invite me there. I will not come. I will actually tell you yes and I will ghost you just because you invited me. <laughs> fucking. I'd give it an eight. I'd give it an eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's just lit, bro. It's a vibe. And especially like the little arcades, out, you know, outside arcades have a vibe. Mm. Like you got a ding, ding, ding on the little. Okay, but what about, that? that's a good thing. What about arcades? As a date, first date. I don't like use arcades or? as like a, like a finisher, like to end the night. I wouldn't use it as like a, a like the entirety of the date. Okay. I mean, you could do arcades and like ice cream. So what did I just say? I mean, don't finish with arcades. Finish with ice cream. Or either or. I'm just saying I wouldn't do arcades alone. Period. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. wouldn't be like, yo, meet me at the arcades. She's like, excuse me. Actually, you would. What not are you? Say Twelve. <laughs> He would not say that. <laughs> You'd just pick her up. Yeah. To the arcades. <laughs> You'd pick her up to go to the arcades. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go to the arcades. Yeah, right. No. I know you we love arcades. Like, because of him, we look like kids now because we're like, yeah, let's go to the arcades. Arcades is fucking 25. amazing. Yeah, it is nice though. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. I do you, do, wait, 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 wait. Tips for the boys. Do you let the girl win? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Are you rocked, bro? When it comes to like having to punch, punch the thing to see who's strongest, you think I'm gonna punch less than her? No, okay, or but, the hammer. No, but not for that. But like you know, like little like Mario Kart, fighting games, like Mario the, ra Kart. the racing games. Yeah, yeah, racing. no, you're getting destroyed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
You want to impress a girl. You don't want to look like you suck at everything in life. F- facts. What? It's so true. You think I'm going to purposely shoot the red turtle shell backwards instead of forward to hit her? What about what about like uh, the the um, the the hockey thing? Like you know, ding 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 ding. You, you get what? I, you yeah, know what the I'm air hockey. About? Yeah, air air hockey. So mm. you play this. Matt, she's 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 getting destroyed. <laughs> but what if like there's no mercy? <laughs> what if after she's like she has a big ego and she gets mad? Perfect. Round two. <laughs> <laughs> Get it destroyed again. Yes. That is nuts. It's fun to have a like like a competitive partner. Yeah, I feel I feel like it's nice. Yeah. yeah okay. So arcades. A note. Seven point five. Seven point five two six. Okay. Wild. You gave amusement parks a zero. Okay. Okay. What else? What else? What What other days do we have? We said avoid also. Sports. Uh, Definitely avoid. I mean, what is it? The skating rink, like a not ice skating, but like rollerblade. Rollerblade. Oh. Yeah. I've never done it, so I can't really rate it. But it looks nice, though. You've never done it. I've never. Do you know how to skate? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm half white. <laughs> do you know how to swim? I I actually do. I swim uh, better than you. No, you don't. Okay. No, you don't. I said okay. Please confirm to the camera that no, you don't. Carl don't. Carl becomes the happiest person when he gets into the water. That's true. Though it's like a it. little fish. Well, when we were in Tulum, moody as fuck. The mm-hmm. moodiest person that you could ever imagine jumps in the water leaves us <laughs> like, there's fish <laughs> stingrays turtles guppy fish just disappears <laughs> aquaman <laughs> no cap That's okay so so the the roller thing um roller coaster i mean no. sorry my bad roller blade uh, roller blading okay how much it's a vibe yeah i'd give it like an eight yeah same you Seven point seven, bro. Just give it an eight, bro. What is, oh, seven point <laughs> seven? Because, because, because every skating date I went to, the girl didn't know how to skate. So like, it's okay, you take your PTSD little ass, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Shove it somewhere tight, and just give it an eight. Just say eight. Eight. Thank nah, you. Good, good boy. Actually, so side note, guys. I know we're trying to give you guys like the best date ideas for the summer, but you know, girls play sports too. Yeah. How about we rate like, ooh, you know? volleyball one. Oh, okay. So then I guess we don't have to rate. No volleyball. We'll do we'll do one. No, we'll do one or the other. We'll do process of elimination. Okay. Perfect. Uh, so a girl that plays soccer, or a girl that plays basketball. Soccer. 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 Um, a girl that plays soccer or a girl that plays tennis. Soccer. Oh. Soccer. 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 For soccer. Me. Tennis is nice still. It is. Soccer. Um, a girl that plays soccer or a girl that plays lacrosse? <laughs> wow. Sorry, I didn't want to. Soccer. Soccer. Hmm. Soccer. A girl that plays soccer or a girl that plays hockey? Soccer. Oh, Ooh, I have another one. What well, answer? Soccer. Uh, soccer. A girl that plays soccer or flag football? Flag football. Ooh. Right, yeah. No, he's thinking about the wrong fight football. He's thinking about the lingerie football. Yes. Exactly. No. That's not what I'm talking about. Um, fight football, though. Soccer. Ah. Soccer. So, oh, yeah. If you just look at, like, if you think of like a girl soccer player versus like, like, a, like, a, like a football player, like you have to be able to kind of take some some bigger hits in flag football than you oh, do in soccer. You know, like that? I guess it's because I play football, but flag football is nice. It's hot. Soccer or badminton? Soccer. Soccer. Okay. Badminton. Okay. Soccer or volleyball? No, wait. I wanted this one at the last yeah. two. Uh, mm-hmm. Soccer or finger skating? Finger skating? Finger skating. Ooh. Ooh. These girls be bad as shit. Soccer. 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 <sighs> Soccer. Soccer or gymnastics? Oh! Shit. Uh... Uh, oh my days, bro! Gymnastic, gymnastics, soccer. It's two, Fuck! It's two against one. Okay. Gymnastics, gymnastics or cheerleading? Gymnastic. Oh, actually, I answered too fast. Like, gymnastics. Yeah. gymnastics. Gymnastics. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. 
Oh, gymnastics or um, fuck swimming. Swimming, swimming yeah. Oh, gymnastics easily. Mm. Easily. I mean, I've dated a girl mm. for six years that was in swimming. Ouais, mais frérot, just when they put the cap and <laughs> <laughs> the condom head. I, I I can't look at you and you the, the same anymore. Once I see you with a thing and the plugs here and then like the super tight uh, one piece, I can't. <laughs> uh, gymnastic, okay. Yeah, yeah, gymnastic. Okay, gymnastic. Because everybody looks the same when like they're swimming when they're playing like like water polo. Everyone looks looks the same. You think you're cheering for your girl and by mistake She's you're cheering for someone team. else. <laughs> I use gymnastics to get like all done up, pretty, have like nice outfits. Uh, what about gymnastics or um, uh, cycling? Like uh, bikers? Yeah, bikers. Um, gymnastics. Because bikers be having legs, my boy. Exactly. Fuck. Gymnastics, though. <gasps> Wait. Gymnastics. Gymnastics? Uh, gymnastics or um, uh, pole um, vaulting? Is that what it is? No, that's that's uh, oh, the yeah, you know, when they and they, and they go up, oh, yeah, yeah. The oh, I've seen baddies do that, but it's gymnastics, Gymna oh, wait, gymnastics are track stars, yeah, oh, track stars, track stars, track stars, track stars. yeah, by far, she's a runner, she's a track star, okay, track stars or volleyball, fuck. I, I gotta be honest. I this whole time I've been picturing my girl in every single one of the things, and <laughs> I think she'd be bad as a volleyball player. So volleyball. She's kind of super small though for that. Yeah, but she could be the one that just does this. <laughs> the, the passes. That, that does the layup, you know. Oh, what about you? Shit, track star. I don't know. I, I don't know. Fuck. Uh, it has to be volleyball, bro. If you were to like, let's say you imagine your ideal woman, right? Volleyball. Yeah. Volleyball. Track stars. Yeah. Yo, bro, I've seen track, <sighs> track stars. stars, baddies, my stars. boy. Because it's like they have everything. They have the legs, the ass, the the abs, the the everything is track star. But volleyball players too, especially the beach volleyball players. Yeah. Sure. They, 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 they play on the sand and shit. Mm -hmm. Um, I, but just like overall, if you take everything into account, but because also like like as a track star, like don't get me wrong. Obviously, I know that when you're a volleyball player, you ob there's obviously a lot of dedication and work that needs mm -hmm. to be put into be a volleyball player. But it's like a team sport, mm. you know. Like a track star, like they're di like they're very very strict on their diet, mm. you know. Um, you know they get they're they're like they're they're prone to a lot of injuries, especially too. I don't know. I just feel like. It would be like a lot of high maintenance to be with a track star oh, rather okay. than like a volleyball girl. That's what I'm saying. Like if you take into in consideration like everything. You'll, you'll get in the comments now. Volleyball girls will be like, uh, listen, now we have to do this, 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 this. No, but I know. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Going back to the dates thing. Yeah. So now for people that are what? In a relationship. Exactly. Yeah. Now for people that are in a relationship. I mean, the dates apply the same being in a relationship or single, mm. but I think you could just allow yourself to do like a little bit extra. So like a suggestion that we've spoken about before in the past is, fellas, if you've been with your girl for six months, a year, 10 years, 20 years, whatever, there's always one thing that you guys should always remember is that girls like to be on emotional roller coasters, mm. right? So when you go on a date, especially that you guys have now been dating for a long time, you have the time to utilize the entire day, right? So you can make her go through all the emotions and just make her mind go wild, right? You want to make her excited and happy and have that adrenaline rush, mm -hmm. right? But also tap into like the foodie side of her, you know, and the experience side. So you want to bring her through all these different levels and that's gonna, just going to get her like, um, it's going to get her off. Also, it's going to bring you like this, like, emotional connection with her because at the end of the day i think we, we we spoke about it a lot and that's my thought but women's are emotional beings and men are more tempted to be logical beings so in my opinion if you just in the right way play with all the emotions and the good emotions or whatever for her it's gonna bring her happiness like yeah. she'll be happy with that date and yeah you'll, you'll be you'll have a great date mm -hmm. but 
I would say as the first date is going back to the one that we just said, picnic. But now you've been dated for dating for like a year, a year or whatever. Picnic goes high on the list. Mm-hmm. Like a oh, yeah. nine point five out of ten. Super Absolutely. cute. Little sunset. I love picnics. Go by the go by the water. Mm-hmm. Or something with like a nice view. A little little breeze outside. You don't like at like five. Yeah, not under the blazing sun. Find yourself a nice little tree to be under if ever it's too hot. Mm-hmm. You know, it's at five six, so, uh, the the sun's going down a little yeah. bit. A little breeze from the water in front yeah. of you. You know, go to the beach, just you two. Yeah. You know. True. Bring a couple. Bring a couple drinks. Some wine. Or if you could pack, yeah, pack some some wine or you. White you could, wine. Or you guys, White wine. Yeah, if you can make yourself like a little sangria. Ooh. you know Ooh. it's it's really important i think that like, the summertime is also good like an ideal way for also to travel mm-hmm. i think people should utilize uh traveling when you're in a relationship there's so many beautiful places that you could travel to during the during the winter uh, during the summer where it's not too hot it's not rainy season so uh definitely Would try you- to put some money aside and take take your girl or go together whatever your dynamic is and uh go on a trip would you guys suggest more like traveling uh to go on like an all-inclusive thing or more like a backpack thing like experiences like whatever more for backpack to be honest yeah so i we're actually kind of in the in like the not the dilemma but we're kind of like trying to figure out like where we'd like to travel to Mm -hmm. and uh me personally in the summertime i'd like to do like multiple uh multiple destinations so i go to europe Mm -hmm. like spain portugal you know and do those do those close countries together uh, and then like winter time because it's still hotter in the south then i'd be more tempted to do like an all inclusive mm-hmm. where we're just there to like chill and like take a break from from the snow you know mm. i agree what Fair about enough. You? actually pretty much the same i, I was going to say uh, an all inclusive for a winter because it's more like oh it's winter up back there on top up north so i can just chill somewhere for the whole week and mm. not do anything but mostly but backpack during a uh, summer I could just actually just walk around, see, do whatever I want, talk to whoever I want, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Taste new food, villages and stuff like that. Yeah. Quick question. Where's your next like goal destination? Super fast. Japan. Wow. Mm-hmm. Costa Rica. Mm. Fire. Fire. Uh, Morocco. Morocco also fire. Mm. Morocco. Yeah. Love to go to Morocco. Yeah. I'd I'd love to go to Japan or do like Scandinavia. Mm. Like Sweden, Finland, Denmark. During the winter or summer? Summer. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't do it during the winter. Why? Because they're winter countries. Yeah, I get what you mean. Like you'll see all the everything that is beautiful about this country is during the winter. Oh. You know what's funny? You know Iceland? Mm -hmm. There's a moment in the year. That the sun stays out until midnight. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, so it starts to set, but like the sun is there because because like they're very uh, high up top and the the sun uh, the the earth is on its axis, right? When it's going around and it's spinning on itself, it's kind of, it's kind of as if the the sun is like on top Just, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know, it gives that kind of that it gives that illusion that the sun never sets. Mm-hmm. And like when you where is it? I don't know if it's Nunavut mm-hmm. or Alaska or whatever. Alaska. But you, but you literally see the sun go across yeah so like us we, we experience the sun like kind of going it's up and then down, and down yeah. but them it literally looks like it goes around i'm going to show the, i'm going to show you guys the video like a, a time lapse and the sun literally comes up goes around mm-hmm. and goes down you know what's crazy with alaska is um they have like a like a part of the year which is pitch black yeah no sun no sun whatsoever like every day it's no sun that's the worst depression rate and the highest suicide rate than than anywhere in the world. So why would you live there? This is like my confusion. Cultural, you know. I mean, they're, they're, I mean, they're 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 typically like native, mm. you know. Mm. No it's, sun. For half it's it's a like year. proven that when you don't have sun, it, like you just feel depressed. You feel yeah. like it's not a good day. Whatever. Like me, I'll wake up. Like I did not sleep good. I slept three hours. I had a worst day ever yesterday. I woke up. I'm I'm feeling some type of way. If I wake up, I have the br- hot breeze on me. Plus, it's super beautiful outside with the sun. I'm gonna have a good day. Apparently, it's not the best to actually be wearing sunglasses when it's nice out. Oh yeah, yeah, because because it's it's actually blocking you from the UVs from the sun. Mm-hmm. That typically, had you not had sunglasses on, it would send signals to your body to start producing. I forgot what the what the what the hormone or the chemical is for you to start producing, uh, like the the tanning phase. Okay, what is it? 
melanin. melanin. Uh -huh. So it'll it'll start. It stops you from producing melanin. Oh. So if you don't have glasses, then you could receive the UV rays that would then tell your body to produce melanin oh. to then tan. So if you guys are trying to tan this summer, try to avoid having sunglasses on. Mm. Mm, melanin. Yeah. Melanin baby. Okay. Yeah, melanin. What are we doing? Puis ton danger, tu veux-tu le faire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so, any other suggestions for couples to travel to? Like like uh, destinations? Yeah. Or just things Dream to do, period. De uh, summer. 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 Well, Costa Rica is very nice. I think it's a very oh, nice place. I would say, um, um, I mean, we're in Montreal right now. So, like, uh, I'd say a train that goes across Canada. Mm, fire. Mm. What would be your guys, if you guys could get married, like your dream location, location for a marriage, if you didn't want to do it here? Because this is also the time period for also for um, for wedding season. Mm. Everyone's getting married. Uh, why Turks and Caicos? Turks and Caicos for me. Turks and Caicos? Yeah. Oh, you too? Also, yeah. Turks looks uh, amazing. Hawaii. Hawaii. I yeah. do Mexico. Mm. I, I, probably not Mexico. I feel like everyone gets married there. I mean. Like I, I would want to be different. You know, like not, not like, but well, I don't know. Maybe it's just a Quebec thing, also, like Cuba, oh, and Mexico. Egypt. That's fancy. That's that's expensive. fancy as fuck. That's fancy as so, fuck. I don't know why. I feel as like, like American, I cannot go. Would you guys across the world to get married? Would you guys yeah. like? How would you guys go about? Like, are how does it work? Do you guys pay everyone's ticket to be flown out, or does everybody pay their ticket? And the lodging over there depends where I'm going. Depends also like, like my financial issue. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, Stability, whatever. Bro, if I'm making millions of years and, and my whole family having average salaries, I'm paying all the tickets. Mm -hmm. I have I have a wedding that I'm supposed to be going to in November, and I can't imagine the amount of preparation that it takes to like prepare a wedding venue mm. like halfway across the world. That is crazy. you have to do everything from a distance. Like here, you could sit down with a caterer and stuff yeah. like that. Even just for like shopping for a ring, mm -hmm. I can't imagine just everything that you have to go to for that process. Oh my god. Because, you know, the buddy of mine was telling me the other day how complicated shopping for a ring is. Yeah. And he was dealing with, uh, actually, they're, they're from here. They're from about, uh, I think, Don J. Okay, yeah. Okay. And um, he told me that he basically got, like, a whole breakdown, like, basically a, a class 101 of how to shop for a ring. Telling the difference between a lab-grown or a natural-grown diamond, the differences between two, the price differences between the two was crazy. It blew my mind when he told me that. Uh, there's different clarities, different color. Uh, and obviously, there's different cuts of the diamond. It was it, it blew my mind. I think that's something that every guy should know if they what they want to get married. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. Like to know what what you want, what you need, especially and have pros to know to tell you what to get. Also, yeah, yeah. have like a professional to tell you like exactly to yeah. help you through the process. Like you just said, like process is a hard. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you have someone that knows, like you have a goal, he's gonna bring you to your goal. Yeah. Then obviously have someone or a professional that's going to help you through the whole process. Well, yeah. that's what he told me. Like he, he told me he had gone to multiple places, but then when he, he went to this, this specific jewelry, he told me that he, he was sat down. He was, you know, given a pamphlet with all the information, mm -hmm. uh, was shown all the different cuts, all the different possibilities. Uh, and they respected his budget, you know, and it was the, the, the whole transaction was done quick and easy. And I remember he had told me that he was losing his mind trying to figure out like what's the best, like what is, you know, uh, what is VVS, what is, you know, what is the GJ? There's a whole bunch of like letters and acronyms that he had no idea what it was. Mm -hmm. And for someone who knows nothing about jewelry, you, it's you, stressful. Yeah, you, you, you would want to relay on, on the best source, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, he ended up getting his ring. She was super happy. Um, he told me that the whole process was, was quick and easy. So um, I don't know about you guys, but it seems like I know where I'm going to be going for my engagement Most ring. definitely. Well, yeah, not as well. See, I don't want to get married that much, but if I know what I want. The, the dawn of jewelry. I, I, I just might as well. The yeah. dawn of Julie. Wow. The dawn of okay. Julie. So listen, guys, if you are planning on getting married, if you are in a relationship or if you're single, mm -hmm. make sure to take our tips and tricks on what to do for the summertime mm -hmm. you know so you guys saying? will never feel left out ever again. And maybe this time next summer, you yourself will be getting married. Mm -hmm. So congratulations mm -hmm. in advance. <laughs> <laughs> and invite us. Jinx, you owe me, sir. If you guys want hype men, if you guys want like a good party crew, I could DJ, <laughs> Carl could strip. Yep. Uh, and then Matt could uh, serve ice cream. 
<laughs> but only vanilla ice, ice cream. Only. <laughs> so, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We hope you guys enjoy your summer. We're going to be here all summer long for you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, so, don't forget to give us five stars on Amazon, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. And uh, don't forget to check us out on Patreon. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a lot of exclusive content. And uh, also, side note, for those of you who have stayed this far until the episode, we're also coming out with our own YouTube channel called B3. Ooh. So, to be determined, we're going to be vlogging we're gonna be doing a lot of things so if you guys want to get a lot more from us besides being in the podcast you guys want to see us in the streets literally on the streets literally work in the streets (laughs) (laughs) uh we're we're gonna have we're gonna have all that good information coming to you guys soon so we hope you guys enjoyed it was your boy Sergio's Talks it's your boy Matt it's your boy Carl and I hope you guys have a good summer and we'll see you guys next week bow take care (laughs) 